I'd like to present to you the city's number one living tourist attraction. One of the most recognized human brands on the planet. One of the most serious, dedicated, disciplined, and kind individuals I've ever grown to know. Mr. Robert Burke, the Naked Cowboy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. I would like to announce that today I am entering the race for the office of mayor of New York City. Folks, these are difficult times. But when the going gets tough, you need a cowboy. The city cannot afford any more wasteful spending. What we need is smarter spending. Most people come up to me every day and tell me they have lost their life savings, that the small businesses are barely getting by. And small businesses are the key to getting this city back on its feet. So we need initiatives to help get them on the right track. But we cannot afford to back an 18-wheeler full of money to every problem. Folks, we need to tighten our belt. And of course, that's just an expression because I don't even wear a belt. But that's my point. I don't need a belt. I don't need the whole suit and tie thing either. You're not going to see me buying a whole new suit and outfit just because I'm running for mayor, not on the city's dime. The fact is, no one's done more with less than me. Now, you want the tongue out or it? Ladies, we're off duty if you want to squeeze the butt. Just kidding. He's very good with all the people in New York City. He's very good to the downtrodden people that are out on their luck. He's always giving them money. Uh, everybody knows him. He tips everybody very well. He's basically a very good-hearted man, which is why I think he'll make a good mayor. I think we're on top of it. I think but again, the point isn't that I'm going to argue with him. It's that I'm pure and hard. I want to talk to anybody. You're I'm out there. Right. You're out there. You know, I'm just here to protect the cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he needs protection. I have some more yet. It's a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. He, got, he got interviewed about the naked cowboy's haircut. Oh, did a couple things I couldn't hear, like what their questions were, but for the most part I heard everything you were saying. Because we were like, well, Extra, RTO, and MSNBC is definitely going to be there. Ron will be there, and Howard. Been uh, working six months on this project. Um, like in New Jersey? Um, Robert's been very hospitable to our uh, our critiquing and everything, so it's uh, really good. We look forward. Very well established. You're blocking your lens. You didn't get that picture. Your fingers on your lens.
But again, that's always been my interest from the beginning was to get famous and then parlay that into, into politics. But I'm just saying this is a major leap for me on every every level. And it's I expect it to be a serious challenge. But again, nobody in the entire world works as hard as I do, so I say it is just a sure thing. Uh, we just entered uh, announced today we have a you know my manager, Todd Rubenstein, is in charge of all campaign stuff. Uh, and just in speaking to him every day, I basically, uh, the way I understand it is, as an account that's been open, you know, according to whatever finance laws, whatever has to be done, or there'll be vouchers taken, we'll be out in the five boroughs, and primarily, I would say, through Times Square as well, though. So we'll be raising money directly from the people. We're not looking, we're already beyond the date of getting matching campaign funds. So. For instance, Bloomberg spent 19 million, he'll get 19 million of your tax money to support, you know, again, you've got like massive funds. We're not doing that. We're literally, it has to be all about the people coming in and saying we want to do it. And I think that after today and as the days go on and everyone knows about it, you know, you'll start seeing polls and we'll get the sentiment of what people think. I, and I think we're going to have good success. I think people are going to, you know, I think we're going to have to have any numbers in a lot of people's eyes would be crazy. You know, some people think that, but I think it's it's logical to assume that we're going to have some pretty substantial numbers and people are going to be surprised and that's going to motivate us to do even more and if we have no response and it's not that good we're still going to pump it out and do every single thing we can to make an effort so that i get in next year i haven't missed a day in 11 years unless i was traveling 10 years easy big boy yes. Is that fresh too when you're done? Absolutely. Hey, get your own hairdresser. I mean, something had to happen. I don't know what I did. Now it is. My name is Eugene, I'm from America's Best Limos and I'm one of the partners involved. Uh, we got involved in this because uh, his promoters came to us and asked us to uh, supply them a limousine that would take them into New York City and we were more than happy to do it because we've heard of the Naked Cowboy for years and uh, we thought it would be interesting. Take it, cowboy, for mayor.